First of all, you'll need to download a drawing for the type of truck and tank you have. This can be found on our Alumatank website. You can also call and have it faxed to you. This sheet will be the template that follows your tank through fabrication or repair. Before we get started, there are some points of reference you need to know for use with the drawing. Our first consideration is the side of the truck the tank being replaced is on. We use the terms driver's side and ditch side. The front of the tank is the lead edge as you move forward on the road. Each of these needs to be noted on the template. On the tank itself, we use the welds of the front and back rear end caps and the lengthwise weld, the lateral weld seam, for taking measurements. All measurements are made from the weld seams. It isn't important exactly where on the width of the weld seam you measure, so long as you measure from the same position along the welds with each of the measurements. In all cases, the measuring starts at a weld and finishes at the center of the fitting. Also, if you're using a rigid measuring tape, be sure to avoid crimping that might throw off the measurements. On most all trucks, the lateral weld seam is positioned up and sits back in toward the truck in the 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock position depending on the driver or ditch side. On Kenworth styles, the seam is located on the bottom 6 o'clock position. Let's walk through a tank measurement. Again, download or have us fax you a template print for your truck type. In this case, we're using a Peterbilt style tank. Designate both the driver or ditch side and the front of the tank. Mark these at the top of the print. This is a driver's side tank with the front cap and seam to the left. We'll start with the measurements for the fill neck. In this case, we'll measure from the back or rear cap seam to the center of the fill neck. Mark this on the print. Now measure from the long vertical weld seam down to the center of the fill neck. Again, this seam is generally set back in toward the truck. Now we will do the same for the gauge fittings. In this case, we'll measure from the front of the tank to the gauge assembly center. Crossover and drain fittings are positioned on the bottom of the tank and should be measured from the lateral weld seam back toward the truck and down to the fitting away from the long seam rather than toward you as with the fill neck and gauge fittings. Check the print that you've got the side and front of the tank marked properly and that each fitting has both X and Y measurements. Be sure to note on the sheet if the fill cap or other fittings are other than the original equipment. Then fax the print to us. It's that easy.